The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. you to see the new addition to my family. Oh, aren't they cute? They make wonderful pets. They need so little attention. Oh, they're beautiful. What are they, male or female? Who cares? <laughs> they do. <laughs> if they care enough, they can find out for themselves. <laughs> Jane, I didn't get a chance to tell you. I have to go with Mr. Mooney this afternoon. He has to get an anniversary present for his wife. Oh, well, where are you going to shop for it? Well, if I know Mr. Mooney, we'll go to any store that gives him a discount. <laughs> oh, listen, what? I know a wonderful place that sells bargains. They sell all kinds of things. The only thing is it's way downtown. It's a very long trip. So what? Mr. Mooney would go to Outer Mongolia to save a dime. <laughs> Oh, good. Yeah, a friend of mine works with me. Here's the address right here. Thank you. Mr. Mooney will appreciate this. Well, I guess I might as well run along. I'll see you later. Okay. Happy shopping. Thank you, dear. Bye-bye. Bye. Come in. Oh, you... hi, Mr. Moon. Oh, good morning, Miss Lewis. Good morning, Mrs. Carmichael. Good morning. How are you this nice, fine day? I'm fine, and I'm all ready to go. Yes. And I have some very good news for you. Oh. I know a store where you can save a lot of money. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Bye -bye. Oh, I see you have a little aquarium here. Yeah, just a little old pair of goldfish. Uh -huh. hmm. Mr. Mooney, can you tell me whether they're male or female? They're female. How can you tell they're female? Because their mouths never stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> Merchandise? Yep, I sure have. <laughs> Beautiful. That's, I, that's a nice hair on that coat. Let me see that. Good, good. No initials? <laughs> Here, that's nice. This stuff ain't bad. It ain't bad. This is some of the best merchandise I ever bring you. I hope it ain't too hot. Don't worry. It was all lifted in New York. The fuzz will never trace it out here. That's good. Hey, I wish I could lose weight as fast as you do. <laughs> Come on in the back. I'll give you your money. I can sure use it. I, I got a crap game lined up at the, at the Pink Pelican tonight. What does a thief like you want with a crap game? Go out and stick somebody up. This is my night off. Oh, <laughs> listen, if I make a sale here today, I'll go with you. Good. Okay, that'll be good. You go. Number. <clears throat> Mrs. Carmichael. <laughs> I am not averse to saving money, but I certainly didn't expect the store to look like this. Well, they just don't waste money on fancy decorations, but they, they do seem to have everything here. Lady, you're a hundred percent right. Our motto is, if we haven't got what you want, ask for it. And we'll go out and pick it up for you. <laughs> now, what can I do for you folks? Uh, well, I want to buy a gift for my wife. It's our anniversary. 
Congratulations, lady. Oh, no, I'm not his wife. Oh, it's one of those deals. <laughs> you know, you don't look the type. He does, but you don't. I am his secretary. They usually are. <laughs> now, what kind of a gift did you have in mind? Well, I'm not quite sure. Uh, hey, Harry, will I see you at the Pink Pelican? What time are those bird watchers gathering? Ah. Bird watchers? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, well, say, oh, like uh, 10 30. Good, I'll be there. <laughs> you belong to the Audubon Society, huh? Well, I'm not really a full member. I just go there and take care of the pigeons. <laughs> Look around for things. You see anything you like, Mr. Mooney? Not so far, no, I don't. How about this set of luggage? Hmm? This looks very nice. Is this genuine cowhide? Lady, it's such genuine cowhide that I got to milk it twice a day. <laughs> well, I don't think that would be right for my wife. Why not, sir? Well, I've already given her 31 suitcases and she hasn't taken the hint yet. <laughs> very large selection of merchandise here. Oh, Mr. Mooney, look at this. Hmm? Look at this. It's oh. beautiful. Oh, oh, yes, it is. Oh, this yes. is a lovely color. Yes, but, oh, that's much too expensive. Why, that, that, that's worth at least a $1,000. Oh. You are a shrewd businessman. You guessed the price exactly $1,000. No, that's a little more than I was going to spend. And because you guessed the price exactly, I'm going to cut the price in half. $500. Well, even $500 is a little steep. I... And because you are the 1,000th customer to come in this morning, I am going to cut the price in half again, $250. Mr. Mooney, it's a steal, isn't it? Yes, you might say that. Mr. Mooney, you are saving $750. Oh, I, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, to whom shall I make out the check? Check. I'm sorry, but we do not accept checks on merchandise that was marked down three times. <laughs> you see, we have a deal with the bank. We don't take no checks, and they don't sell no furs. <laughs> it's a deal, a deal uh, we got. No, 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 no. All right, well, now let me see. Uh, 100, 200, and 50. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Well, what do you know? Sounds like the noon whistle. Lunch! <laughs> well, that didn't sound like the noon whistle, but... <laughs> well, we got our shopping done. That's uh, the main thing. All right, right you two, know. just stand there. Take it easy. Uh, what, what's the meaning of this? Oh, don't give me that innocent act. We've had this place staked out for weeks. This is the biggest outlet for stolen goods in the whole city. <laughs> I'll just take this along as evidence. Come on, now, let's go. Well, now, just a minute, officer. We haven't done anything. I can explain it all. You can you explain see? it all down at headquarters. Come on, let's go here. Well, 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 Come well, on, well, you well, two. Well, 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 Faith and Begora, now. Such a fine broth of a lad like yourself. Wouldn't be after arresting a Colleen like myself, would you now, Officer Murphy? <laughs> <laughs> or could it be Houlihan? Or is it O'Brien? <laughs> it's Shapiro. <laughs> Oh, the shame of it all. <laughs> Thanks to you, I, Theodore J. Mooney, vice president of the Westland Bank, am in jail like a common criminal. <laughs> Well, you're not alone. I'm in here with you. That's adding insult to injury. <laughs> I don't like this any more than you do. But let's look at the bright side of things. What bright side? Well, the police treated us very nicely. They let me call Mary Jane. Oh, yes, you owe me a dime. <laughs> uh, well, where is she with that bail money? It's almost two hours since you called her. Yeah, well, she had something very important to do first. What? Her hair. That's 
that's important. Well, certainly you can't expect a girl to come to a jail looking a mess. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, don't be naive. We have seen the last of that crook. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I know where he lives. Oh, good. Yeah, a girlfriend of mine dates him. Uh, he lives at the Valley Vista Arms. Oh, fine. Mr. Mooney, you go see Harry and demand your money. Come on, let's go. I want you to fix my hair like this. I'll see you Monday, Mr. Mooney. Just a moment. <laughs> you are going with me. And you are going to demand my money back. That's a man's job. Why should I do it? Because he won't hit a woman. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Yes, we've been waiting for you. Hiya, folks. I've been looking for you. You ran off today without getting your trading stamps. Where have you been? We have been in jail. That's where we've been. Jail? Sir, I am shocked. If I'd have known you were of that ilk, I never would have done business with you. You sold me a hot fur. You mean that was a stolen stole? <laughs> Believe me, I am the victim of a misunderstanding. No, I'm the victim, and I want my $250 back. And you shall have it. Just let me go to my apartment, and I'll get it. I... And we are going with you. <laughs> oh, I wish you wouldn't. Why not? Because my apartment is such a mess. <laughs> Look, you disappeared once. We're not going to let you get away with it again. Sir, you mistrust me? I certainly do. <laughs> it cuts me to the quick to think that you have no faith in your fellow man. Yeah, well, your fellow woman doesn't have faith in you either. <laughs> Tell you what I'm going to do? I'm going to let you hold the keys to my car till I come back. <laughs> Seems like adequate collateral for $250, huh? Thank you. I'll be back in a flash with your cash. <laughs> you know, Mr. Mooney, he is kind of cute. <laughs> May maybe we misjudged him. Yeah, perhaps we were a bit hasty. Yeah. Oh, my, look at that car. Isn't it a beauty? Oh, I've always wanted a car like that. Really? Yes, but Irma insists that since I'm a banker, I should drive something a little less flashy, more conservative. What is that thing you drive? A 1955 Edsel. <laughs> Boy, that is conservative. You no, know, I've always thought I'd look rather dashing in a car like that. Well, why don't you get in and, and find out? Oh, no, I don't think Go I on, go on, get in. Huh? Try no, it. Really? Harry will understand. Well, he seems like a regular I, I, guy. Well, maybe so. I, oh, it's such lovely upholstery. Yeah. Oh, oh, my, is it... Oh, and does it feel comfortable? Yeah, yeah really, you look <laughs> great. Really? You should have a helmet on. You yeah. know, oh, with oh, your goggles oh, and everything. Okay, you. Oh. Out of the car. I... <laughs> Well, now, officer, if this car is parked, 
There's a no parking zone. It isn't my fault, you see. It isn't my car. Yes. I know it isn't your car. It's stolen. No. Oh. Let me have the key. Well, uh, well they, they, yes, certainly the key. They belong there. There you are, Joe. Come take care of it. Up there. Come on. I'm taking you in. What? What? What do you mean? Come on, you, let's go. Who? You too, lady. Why are you What take... for? Yeah. For possession of a stolen car. <laughs> Well, Mrs. Carmichael, you've done it again. Gee, Mr. Mooney, it's not my fault. Why don't you look at the bright side? Oh, there you go with that bright side. What bright side? Well, the first time we were arrested, we were in a dingy jail downtown. Now we're in the beautiful San Fernando Valley with trees and flowers all around. And did you notice that volleyball court as we came in? That's for us prisoners. <laughs> Oh, will you be quiet? I am not only out $250, now I am in jail for stealing cars! <laughs> oh, if I could just get my hands on that swindler! Oh. Oh. Uh huh. What are you doing? I'm thinking. Don't! <laughs> Now, listen, Mr. Mooney, while we were in Harry's store, that other man in there said that he was going to meet him later at some, uh, some bird place. Uh, uh the, 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 the pink, the pink pelican club. Said he's going to meet him there later. Now, we'll go there and find him when we get out of here. If we get out. <laughs> okay, you two. Oh. <laughs> you can leave. Your brother paid your bail. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I, oh uh, just a minute. I don't have a brother. <laughs> what, what did he look like? Oh, he was a big brute. Yeah, he was about uh, six foot three, weighed 250 pounds, very muscular and tough looking. That's my wife. <laughs> Harry Barton. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> this is a bird sanctuary? Well, maybe they keep the birds in the back. This is a gambling joint. Let's get out of here. Now, wait a minute. There's Harry. Why don't you get your money first, and then we'll get out. Oh. All right, all right. Come on, now, let's one Come on, give me in. Hot, hot, a man is hot. I want to talk to you. I'm busy now, you'll have to. Oh, it's you two crooks. What's the idea of stealing my car? I stole your car? Aha, you admit it. Oh, I've had enough of this. I want my $250. And if you don't give it to him right this minute, we're going to report it to the police. All right, all right. I will give you back your money, but I don't have any cash right now. I'll have to give you chips. Chips? What would I do with chips? You cash them in right over there. It's just like money. Oh, well, thank you. Good. It's a pleasure to have done business with you. Right over here, Mr. Mooney. Uh, oh, look. What? You know, I've never played a slot machine. Now, Mrs. Carmichael, you are throwing your money away. Oh, come on. It's only a nickel. Well, only a nickel. Oh, you just realize how they talk. Well, I, little it's this one. Are... I need a jackpot! Yeah. A jackpot! Good I got a jackpot! Oh, my head. Officer, we're not gambling. 
What are those little things in your hand? Tiddlywinks? Get over there! Oh, well, oh, come, come on, come on. Get over there. Get over there. Go on. Go along with you. Get over there. You are the one you're getting him in. Why did you bring me in here? I told you that you What? Why don't we go to the pink pelican, Mr. Mooney? Why don't we get your money from the bird watchers, Mr. Mooney? Oh, I should have known. I should know better than to listen to anything you ever say. Sorry. Well, I should hope so. I also hope this terrible day has taught you a lesson. Oh, it has. It, it has. I learned that of all the jails in the city, the Beverly Hills is the prettiest. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, hmm. we work for one of the most sedate banks in the country. Hmm. And in less than one day, you have gotten us into more jails than Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> This. this is all your fault anyway. Yeah, if it weren't for you, we wouldn't even be here. Yeah. Hey, you got a visitor. <laughs> oh, Mr. Cheever. Moon! <laughs> what, what does this mean? Well, Mr. Cheever, I had to call you, sir. You were my last resort. You see, they want more bail this time. <laughs> what do you mean, this time? <laughs> Have you been in jail before? Twice. <laughs> What for? Uh, uh, well, uh, you see, Mr. Cheever, I went out to buy a gift for my wife. Yeah, and he bought a hot fur. That. <laughs> Keep quiet. Well, you did. Oh, well, never mind that. That's what got you in trouble. Uh, then, uh, then there was this sports car, you see. Yeah, he, he was in a stolen car. We were in a <laughs> stolen car. <laughs> trying to help. Moody, listen to me. Yeah, 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 if there is one word of publicity that gets out about this and hurts the bank, just one word, mind you, you are through. Yeah, well, that's not all. Tell them about the other time. Tell them why we're in here. Oh, in the... Oh, oh, yes. Well, you see, we went to the Pink Pelican. The Pink Pelican? Yeah, yeah. it's a gambling joint. He was caught in a rave. <laughs> you didn't know the same Never mind. Mind. Shh, Never mind. What? How much is your bail? Uh, uh, oh, Five hundred dollars. Each. I don't have a thousand dollars cash on me. Oh, Mrs. Carmichael, now, if I... I don't yell at the little lady. What? You ain't no gentleman. I will lend you the thousand dollars for the bail. Oh. And your boyfriend will pay it back. <laughs> Here's the thousand. Thank you. And here's another 500. Would you ask that very nice looking gentleman if he would pay my bail too? Yes, yes, here, here's our, our bail money. All right, I'll take care of it. Ooh. Well, all's well that ends well. Oh, that's what I need. A red-headed Pollyanna. <laughs> Nice! After all the trouble she's caused me, you expect me to be nice? Forgive and forget. That's my motto. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I guess this has been just a series of misunderstandings. Yes, it has. And thank you, Mr. Mooney. Oh, that's all right. Thank I guess you. I did lose my temper a little bit. <laughs> Mr. Cheever, what, uh, <coughs> what did they put you in jail for? For paying your bail with counterfeit money. I never thought they'd suspect a classy-looking gent like him. Well, live and learn. That's my motto. <laughs> The Lucy Show.